Right now, I am going to show you how to tighten up a brass section, three trombones to be specific, using FlexEdit in uh, Logic Pro, Logic X Pro. So I have these three tracks. The first thing you need to do is you need to turn on Flex Editing. So you come up here with the tracks selected, you come up, you push this little button up here, which is the Flex Editing tool. And what I'm going to be affecting is Flex time rhythmic because sometimes horn players don't hit exactly right on and I played these trombone parts all myself in different takes so the likelihood of uh, being absolutely tight is is not you know great not going to be perfect so it requires a little bit of effort so you gotta let you gotta let logic do its thing and analyze all these tracks so this will take a second so how you doing today? You doing all right, man? So what are you working on these days? What are you recording? Are you like some kind of a guitar hero or you a horn expert? You a sound gen engineer? You know, I don't know what to do with this progress bar, so I just am yakking at you. If you were here, man, we'd carry on an excellent conversation about the weather, about insect flight patterns, about weird English things like why do they call a big group of ravens an unkindness of ravens? I mean, honestly, the answer to that question is pretty obvious because if you get a bunch of ravens together, then it, it looks kind of unkind. It's menacing. So it's called them. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's what we have. Uh, Logic actually does an excellent job of, let me shrink these down a little bit. Logic does an excellent job of finding note attacks, which it's done here. Let me shrink these down so I can work with them a little bit. And uh, you can see within the flex editing area now um, these little lines here, which mean that you can grab those notes and shift them around. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate only the bone tracks and. Uh, these are raw tracks, so I haven't done any EQing or compressing or anything, but so I'm in the editing phase right now. So here we go. Let's take a look here. So these look pretty good. So the secret is to sort of zoom in and look at your attacks, and I can see these attacks are pretty pretty right on. Let's see, here's here's one that's a little bit off. So let's hear this. Okay, so here we got we got an attack that's off. So typically what I do is I, so usually what happens is if you're, if you're mixing a horn section, you're going to have the majority of the horns on the attack, and then there might be a straggler. There might be somebody that hits it early or hits it late. So it looks like these two horns are right on. This one might be slightly early. So I'm going to go down here and left mouse click this and drag it over just a little bit. If you don't push and pull too much, then um, you usually can't even hear a difference. So now we got this guy here who maybe needs to come over a little bit. And it's just through these subtle means that you can really tighten up. See, this one's late. You can really tighten up a horn section. So you're coming through here like this. You can't even tell when you listen to it. Just kind of dragging along, looking, inspecting. All right, now let's just listen to this. See, that is right on. That is locked right on. And it takes time, takes a little bit of time, but believe me, it's worth it. Uh, the, just the subtlety of tight, tightening everybody up. And I have a long ways to go. I have three bones, three trumpets, and three saxes that I got to do with. Now here's another th that I got to do this to. Here's another thing when you when you grab one of these lines and drag it it displays a line all the way down through where you're working. So it makes it a really simple matter to line those to line those right up visually just like so. Yeah, ever so subtle. So you just progress through your entire chart this way until in the end you have a beautifully tight horn section. Thanks for joining.